Dear friends, session number 51, diet. Let me ask myself, do I live to eat or do I eat to live? Although I may agree with the latter part of the question, I feel I am implementing the former. And I believe that in the current era, there are many who will agree with me. It's not a sin to eat, but it's always recommended to have a certain control and alertness with regards to the diet. If and only if I care for my physical, mental, emotional and spiritual health. Most of the times I fail to control and as soon as I think about food or something eatable that comes in front of me, my lips start getting, uh, my, my tongue starts watering and my lips start smacking. However, it happens to me because I have not restricted myself on my own diet. The way I do in other activities like workout, workout limits, money, money spending, prayer duration, investments pertaining to philanthropy and so many other tasks in my life. If I initiate to experiment subtly on my diet by changing the habits only and not enforcing any reduction in the quantity of the food as per hunger, I feel I can balance the diet and in conjunction enjoy the best of health, isn't it? Today, I can think of eating a particular number of times during the entire day or I may plan to eat only X number of items in a day or I can say no to fried food or I may avert all kind of aerated drinks or can take any steps that help me create a stability in my diet, a balance of quality, quantity, nutrition and hygiene. Healthy diet doesn't mean to starve, it just means to take the right food at the right time. This practice shall help me stay healthy if I wish to be. This brings to the end of session number 51, diet. Thank you.